hour. Welcome back to the most news in the morning. You know, the new best-selling thriller from Da Vinci Code author Dan Brown is set in the nation's capital, and it's centered on the world's oldest and largest fraternity. Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol has renewed interest in the Freemasons, and as Elaine Quijano tells us, it's a secret society that's still well represented in the halls of Congress. John and Kieran, for all the conspiracy theories about Freemasons, this much is true. They can still be found at the highest levels of American government. From the Capitol to the White House, Freemasons throughout history have freely roamed the halls of power in Washington. Nine of the men who signed the Declaration of Independence were Freemasons, as were more than a dozen U.S. presidents, including George Washington, who famously laid the cornerstone of the Capitol building clad in his ceremonial Masonic apron. These days, Masons can still be found in powerful government positions. Masonic historian Arturo de Hoyas. We have egalitarian ideas. We believe that people should rule themselves, that they should elect their own leaders, that they should be governed by constitutions, have separations of power. Senator Chuck Grassley's a Mason, so is Senator John Tester. But getting someone to chat about it can sometimes be tricky. I'm doing health care. <laughs> Senator Mike Enzi didn't break stride while explaining why he's part of the secretive society. It's a brotherhood built on constructing good men. Yet behind these closed doors... I became a mason in my local lodge in Beckley, West Virginia. Secrets revealed. This was this 32nd degree. Congressman see, Nick uh, Rahal, a Mason for almost four decades, decoded Masonry's most prolific symbol. You may see the compass in the square as symbols of Masonic training. Uh, we live by the square. We're upright individuals. The congressman describes Masonry as a fraternity. He says his mentor and fellow Mason, West Virginia Senator Robert Byrd, nominated him for membership. As a 33rd degree Mason, the highest level in the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, Congressman Ray Hall acknowledges there are a lot of secrets and codes, but he says they're not sinister. So are you trying to rule the world? I'm, well, let's say no. But if we were, would I tell you? No. Congressman Ray Hall says Freemasonry today is more of a social organization, and despite the prominent positions of some members, is not a forum to discuss power politics. John, Karen? Like and if Kieran. you believe that, I have a book to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true all over the dollar. You know, what you saw there was you saw the, the unfinished pyramid and the capstone. Now, you want to see something really great? Let's bring the, uh, the camera over here to my computer. All right, here is Washington, D.C. Here's the mall. Here's the Capitol building. Watch what happens when I turn this on its edge Ooh. like this. Ooh, hang on. It's turning into a compass. A little bit more. Sorry, the computer's a little slow. So, Oh, Lord. There we go. This, this usually happens much better than this. Okay, look at We've got uh, Pennsylvania Avenue and Maryland Avenue coming down like this. And then we've got uh, Louisiana and Washington Avenue coming in like this. Some people say that forms the Masonic Compass yep. and Square right there with the, uh, the streets there outside of the Capitol. Look at this. The Compass coming out of the Capitol and then the Square in this way. And, 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 and it, I, I haven't seen it confirmed, but Pierre L'Enfant, who was the guy who designed Washington, may have been a Mason. See? And then, and then Elaine said to the congressman, are you trying to rule the world? And he goes, let me say no. <laughs> <laughs> but if let I was, I wouldn't tell you. Say no. <laughs> the mystery continues. All right, 44 minutes after the hour. We'll be right back.